Good morning, sunshines. Happy Monday, the 6th of May, 2024. Oh, it's a little before 5.30 in the morning. I am up-ish, getting ready to edit the weekend vlog, getting ready to um, knit on my sock and my bias strip blanket before school, get these stripes done. Being harassed by a kitten, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah? It is Staff Appreciation Week, so I will be wearing jeans to school, maybe. Or maybe a dress, because our jeans are really the most comfortable thing I can wear. They might be. We'll see. We'll see how I feel when I have to get dressed in like an hour. Yes, I do wake up super early before I go to school so that I can have a couple hours of calm chill time before I have to enter the chaos. What is, do you wake up right before you have to go to work or do you like to sleep in? If I had it my way, all appointments and everything would be super early in the morning so I could get up for a couple hours, read and write and journal and knit and all that stuff and then get everything out of the way and then be done for the rest of the day. That would be my ideal. I also don't understand how people wake up and roll out of bed and go to work. I mean, I've done that before. When I worked overnights, I did that, but I don't know. I like this better. So tell me, what what is, what is your ideal? Do you like to be up for a little while before, or do you just get up and go? Ba -dum -ba -dum. I have my two stripes done. For the day and I have my vlog converting so yay hopefully that will be I'll be able to start uploading it before I have to leave but have to leave oh, rude have to leave soon because um, not every Monday but frequently on Mondays we run to the grocery store before school to get snacks for the week so this is one of those days. Hi friends, it's evening time. I don't know, it's probably a little before six. Mm. Yes, I am back in the same t-shirt that I was in this morning because I changed into a t-shirt for school and then I didn't like it all day. And it's not a t-shirt that I don't, don't normally like, but like it's that weird temperature where I was like, I was too hot and I didn't like the way that it was fitting and the material is fine like it's a workout shirt so normally it would be fine in that sort of temperature fluctuation but I don't know just something about it today I hated so I came home and I was basically a cranky toddler like from the time that I finished my last class until the time that I could walk out of the building I was just cranky 
and didn't talk to anybody, didn't say anything to anyone because that's not, it's not anyone's fault, right? So I don't know. I don't know why I was so cranky, but I came home and I took a nap and then I just scrolled on social media a little tiny bit and now I'm going to get up and I have a barn raising square blocked, so I think I want to sew that in. I haven't pulled a mini skein yet today, so I want to do that. And then I think I'm going to watch a podcast and read some Bridgerton, and I need to read my 48 Laws of Power reading for the day. So, oh. so yeah, I have my next few hours mapped out. Excuse me. Um, and I have to do my garter ridge. So, I'm gonna get out of bed. I am. I am. I'm gonna get out of bed. I'm gonna go do things. Sounds like a trap. Hello, sunshines. I'm way too lazy to actually dye my hair tonight, but I'm like mentally preparing for how I want to dye my hair. So I think it's going to be all of this that's left down when I put my hair up in a half ponytail. My hair is long enough that I can get all of it up into a ponytail if I want it. But anyway, hi, it's now seven. Feeling much better. I did my reading of 48 Laws of Power. I did my garter stitch blanket, I the pride blanket. I also did a little bit of eye cord on that. So it's going, so there will be eye cord done soonish after finishing the blanket instead of having to do the whole thing, because I hate that. I'm working my mini into this blanket right here. So this mini that you see. Um, it's working into my linen stitch and then anything that's left over after my linen stitch. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work it into my nor'easterly or just put it straight into the corner to corner. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how much is there. Um, and I have, I believe if my mental arithmetic is correct, that the square will be square number 70 onto the brown racing square blanket. So... Keep doing that. I have another square soaking so it can block because now that it's warmer, um, things well, but there's more sun, so it's easier to pick out the stitches. And the squares dry, they do not dry as quickly as they do in winter because in winter I can put them over a vent, <laughs> but you know, they still dry pretty quick. So hopefully, I can get that goal of 100 squares attached. Um, Sometime in June. I'm not putting that on myself in May. That's too much. But maybe in June, because we'll be out of school, that would be that would be nice. I'm pretty sure this is square number 70. So, yeah, that's where I'm at so far this evening. Da -da -da -da. I am almost all knitted up this side of this square. So... Sometime in the near-ish future, I'm going to add another square above, and um, I believe I discussed at some point before how I planned to attach all of, well, if, if it made sense to, I would attach the squares of the border of the blanket and then go back and fill in um, as it made sense for working the border. I'm not going to just do it just to do it. So I have the outline because then I would have way too many live stitches. But if I just attach, um, if I attach them like that, then the live stitches will be just on the tops of the squares and all throughout the blanket. Like I have tons of live stitches, but for that, um, I'll just have the stitches on the top of the square and the stitches on the... Well, actually, I'll just have them on one side, right? 
because they'll be attached on the bottom. This side will be um, not live. Well, I mean kind of, but it'll be worked into a border quickly. Then this side would be live and the top would be seamed because I wouldn't make these stitches on the side live until I was pulling out the top to attach the next square. So, I don't know. That could be coming in the nearish future. Maybe not, though. I foresee that could be a thing. In June, I could start building up, or I could just keep filling in. I don't know. We'll see. It'll kind of depend on how many um, how many squares are bound off in a way that it gives me this part for the edge. I don't know if any of that made sense. <laughs> And look at my little flowers. They're growing. It's very exciting. My work mom gave this to me. Ooh, also, it took like three hours at work before anybody noticed my hair except my work wife, my work mom, and how to classify the relationship. Um, I don't know. Like, one of my work friends, I guess. I don't really have work friends, but he would be my work friend. So, yeah. That, it just, it was so funny because my work wife, as soon as she saw me doing my morning duty, she was across the parking lot. She was like, did you cut your hair? And I said, Yes. <laughs> And then nobody noticed for like two hours. It was so funny. Anyway, flowers. Someday flowers. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, yesterday I did the whole... I got to the heel and did the whole heel flap and heel turn. And this morning I started picking up... Oh, excuse me, the gusset. So I need to get that picked up before breakfast duty so that I can work on this today. Da -da -da -da. Isn't that cute? This is the Mystic Spiral pattern. In case you are unaware. I love it. Hey, sunshines. It's a rare moment in my office where um, I'm on prep and nobody else is in here, which is nice because it means it's quiet. Over there, I recorded a video observation of, um, of me teaching because that's the part of my teaching certificate. I'm on an interim certificate right now. I have to send in observations a few times a year. So that's what I, that was my big thing this morning. It was very stressful, but I did it. But look, this is so cute. Look what a student gave me for teacher appreciation week. How thoughtful is that? Like, you know, getting anything is kind of nice because I'm the technology teacher. I'm not a homeroom teacher, but like, this is so thoughtful. Like, this is a thing that I would actually do. So I'm probably going to put that on my rotation for this month. And also I got this bracelet this morning from a student. In before care, they made um, bracelets for themselves, but also possibly for teachers. And the student wrote me this card, which is really, really cute. So, I don't know. It's feeling very fancy. And today we have a taco bar. That's what the school is doing for us. So, super exciting. Okay. I have 10 minutes until my prep is over. I'm going to grade at least one more class's worth of work.
Hey sunshines, it's Tuesday evening, so it's the 7th. I don't remember if I checked in with you today or not, um, but I'm checking in now. I just did my stripe on the sock. I did my stripe on the bias strip. This is the mini that I'm hoping to work into things today. I'm going to start with a mitered square and see what happens from there. Do I want to do a mitered square though? Do we think this is a whole repeat? of a stripe. I don't know. I'm going to do some research. If it is a whole repeat, I'm going to start a new bias strip for stripes. If it is not a whole repeat, or I don't think it's a whole repeat, then I will start with it in my mitered square. Um, but I wanted to show you, this is a sock I've been taking to work. I picked up the garter stitch or garter the gusset stitches today so I did this many so it's inside out now though because I am doing kind of a lot of yard management for this pattern um, just because I want the really graphic parts of the design to be super super extra graphic so doing extra work to make sure that those things that this isn't this part isn't it in um yeah so I'm doing extra work but I don't know it, the result is going to be worth it and I don't really mind weaving in ends so for me it's totally worth it um mystic spiral is designed to use self-striping and it works really really lovely I wanted the triangles to be really really sharp and in the pattern they it just kind of ends where it ends and it's not super, super sharp, but for this, I wanted it to be super, super sharp. So worth the extra work for me, not for everybody. And that is okay. Um, I also wanted the gusset to start with a full stripe of gray. So down here at the heel turn, when it was time to go to this grayish color, I pulled from the cast on edge. I had a whole big ball <laughs> over here from the cast in cast on edge. So I worked that down there. So a lot of yard management, which is totally unnecessary for this pattern to be beautiful, but I wanted it for me. So I think it's turning out really cool. I'm going to turn it right side out so that it's ready for school tomorrow. Actually, maybe since it's inside out, I will weave in the ends and then I will turn it right side out so it's ready for school tomorrow. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I did go ahead and start a um, bias strip for self-striping. That'll make it much easier to add self-striping, like use up self-striping minis this month because I can add them to a bias strip. Um, since you know, this is a self-striping bias strip, but it's going to be 24-ish days. I don't know if there's 24 colors here. It doesn't really look like it, but it's going to be however many days that is before I can add new colors in. So I did not do a mitered square. I instead did a row on my linen stitch blanket with um, that mini and another mini. So, or like the leftover of a remnant. Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to weave in the ends on the sock and do the garter ridge and read the law of power today. Good morning, sunshines. Happy Wednesday. It is difficult. When you are both an early bird and a night owl <laughs> and can't take afternoon naps. Oh, we are so close. So close to summer break. I cannot wait for it to be fine for me to wake up at 4 a.m. and then stay up until midnight because I can take afternoon nap for as long as I want. Usually about two and a half hours. <sighs> That's my ideal sleep schedule. 
and that usually comes around like noon somewhere between noon and two so <sighs> my brain is just not made to work on this normal like school schedule it's not what my body wants to do but I'm doing it it's fine mm -mm. It's just hard to get up this morning. Like, I've been awake. I've been awake for an hour, but I haven't gotten up and done anything yet. But I'm going to do that now. Excuse me. Um, I feel like I came here to say something else. I don't know. I'll let you know when I remember. Hey sunshines. So this is one of those things that I personally feel really silly about, but then on the other hand, whatever. So I bought myself a subscription to something called The Flower Letters. And last year I read the Nora Avon series and I really, really enjoyed it. And then they were coming out with a second year worth. So the way it works is every two weeks you get a letter and these letters are really cool. I'll open one up and show you like what's inside one of them. Um, but they're so cool and it's a story. It's YA. Um, it is like fantasy. It's cool. So they were coming out with a second one like a second year and I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't buy myself a new subscription, but then it was 50% off. So like I had to, obviously. It, will I pay to get mail? Yes. <laughs> but I got the first letter. Awesome. And then, you know, I got really busy with testing and stuff. If you If you were here for February and March, you know. Um, and so last month I was like, man, I haven't received a letter in a little while, but then I felt really bad mailing that or emailing them about it. Cause I don't know. They just, it's one of those things. It's an anxiety thing, but I emailed them and I was like, so I haven't, I got the first letter back in, I ordered it in January. I was like, I got that one, but then I haven't received one in a while. And it was really, really hard for me to write that email. Cause I felt so stupid for taking so long to be like, hey, I haven't gotten any of my letters. And they were so super nice. And all of these came today. So I'm going to binge read all of these letters. But let me open up this one, which is number 26, and show you what's going on. Okay, so this is cool. So this is a letter. This is the letter um, that continues the story. And then this is a piece of the mythology of the story. And this is a piece of history of the story. And I don't know what this is. I didn't really look. Oh, this is um, like a historical letter copied over from someone to someone. And the artwork is really cool. And then this is a temporary tattoo. So these letters are really, really cool. I really like them. It's really fun to get a story in the mail this way. I originally bought them for my kiddos, but they weren't that into them. But I am into them. I think it's really fun to get a letter every two weeks and read. And And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of nice to not have to write back. I do love writing back to my pen pals. I love it. It's just hard during the school year. Okay, I know I just said like three seconds ago that I'm going to binge all of the letters tonight. I'm not. I'm probably going to read one a day or one every couple days. Um, excuse me. Or I might read them all this weekend. I don't know. But I have a migraine. I've had one. It started this morning at like, I don't know, 7.30. It was at school when it started. It's just... We have... Um, it's hot today. It's like 77 degrees Fahrenheit and tomorrow it's only supposed to get up to 55. And last night we had a really big thunderstorm. So it's just everything. And there's like six of us in the building who were just like, 
all day. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm just not feeling great. Um, I have to read my law today and I need to pick out my mini and I have to finish the screen stripe. I can't remember if I showed you this morning, but I did finish the, I did the brown stripe on this this morning. So I have to finish the green stripe, pick my mini. I'm trying to take it easy today because my greens are rough. I hope you're doing okay. I will probably check back in again in a little while. Hello, sunshines. It is Thursday after school. Today is the what, the 8th? Yeah. Very exciting. I just got a call. My car is finished in the shop. Yay! They replaced the parts. They ran it for a while. It is all good. And they called me. I didn't have to call them because I was working up the like mental fortitude to be able to call them and check in on my car, but they called me before I got there. So that's that I would I always prefer that like having to make a call is so much more stressful than having to take a call so yay! I'm on my way to go get my baby car I'm so excited I miss her so much <sighs> listen I can't be trusted at the library I went in because to, to, to which one of these this one was on hold so I had to go get it, obviously, because I have my car back now. So exciting. Um, so I guess this is my summer TBR, an incomplete showing of it, because I do still have um, High Fire to read that I picked up and the 48 Laws of Power, and I'm reading Bridgerton number seven right now. It's in his kiss. So I'm going to finish Bridgerton. I'm probably going to simultaneously start this and this. Maybe, maybe I'll just start this. I don't know. I didn't mean to. I got the next Bridgerton book because I know I'm going to read that. And then this caught my eye on a shelf. And I had a list of things from last summer that I still wanted to read. And one of the books that I wanted to read and didn't get to read was this one. But then I saw that there was another one by the same author. And even though I don't even know if I like this author, I liked the title and the artwork. And then this was right next to it. So I had to get it because it's the sequel to... Um, a Song of Wraiths and Ruin, which I really liked. That had a green cover. I don't know if that'll help you remember. It would help me remember. Um, and then this was a book that I wanted to read last summer. This caught my eye off of a shelf. This caught my eye off of a shelf. And this was something I wanted to read last summer and didn't. And then look at this. A little thank you thing of sweets. Isn't that so cute? One of my students gave that to me today. So cute. Hey sunshines, it's 8 in the p.m. and I have finished all of my daily things. I got my stripe in my sock. I have my stripe in my strip. <laughs> I've read my law. I did the ridge on the um, pride blanket. I have read fiction. The only thing I have left on my daily to-dos is work in a mini. It is Thursday. I am tired. It is late. I had all that extra excitement from having to go pick up my car, which was fine, but you know, just took time. Excuse me. Um, and then going to the library, which was lovely, but again, 
If you've been here, you know Thursdays I have low, low energy, so to have done two things after work is... it's not hyperbole to say it's a lot. So I'm going to put this into my Northeasterly blanket. It's going to go right here. And then I'm going to read and go to sleep. I don't even know if I'm going to read. I'm pretty tired. Um, and I'm not going to read one of my flower letters today, but that's okay. Good morning, friends. It's Friday morning. Uh, what is this? The 9th of May. And I just wrote out my weekend to-do list because I just, you know, can't possibly um, not plan my weekend. I feel really anxious if I don't have an idea of what I want to do on the weekend because I want to get stuff done, but I also want to remember to relax and stuff. So this is everything that I have that I would like to do this weekend. And when I make my to-do lists, I try to I try to break things down so that I have so that I remember that things take time. Does that make sense? Because with ADHD, time blindness is a real thing. Like it's so easy to think that something is a 5-minute task when really it's like a 30-minute task. What are you doing, kitten? being kitteny. I have, uh, I think 66 pages to go in Bridgerton and I am a slow reader. I can't just be like, finish Bridgerton. Like that's super easy. Um, I don't know. And like, I want to do a bunch of minis. So each mini gets its own box, things like that. I don't know. I try to write big energy things a little bit bigger that could have been written bigger because that's going to take probably four or five hours of my day, which I'm super excited for, but still, takes time. Chiveri, baby, it's very kitcheny. And I want to, <laughs> and I want to, um, like this right here, like, I'm going to show you that this is my peak, <laughs> my peak ADHD moment. I'm going to show you what that means. This, you would think that that's not a big deal, painting this trim, right? And if you were neurotypical, it probably isn't. And you're probably like, why didn't you paint it all at once? I can't paint a room like that. I have to do little chunks at a time because I get overwhelmed and stressed out and I don't want to do it anymore. Even though I like having the room painted. Um, and that trim, like the rest of the trim, I painted, I think, last summer. So, so now's the time. Now's the time. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I've been painting the trim and I'm, you know, I got from that wall to here. So now it's time to finish that trim up there. The trim at the bottom of the wall, probably next weekend. So each step gets its own piece on the paper, though. See? There's so many steps. You gotta wash the trim, then you have to tape the trim, then you have to do a coat, and then you have to do another coat, and then you have to remove the tape. And it's not just all one thing. You have to wait four hours between the first and second coat, and then another, I like to wait another at least two hours before I remove the tape. That's a lot of hours. And this is how my neuro spicy brain like processes pro projects so <sighs> this is this works for me though I usually get through most of my to-do list I never push myself to get through all of my to-do list like it's okay if things don't get done but I try to do most of it all right I'm starting out my weekend on with a bang finished reading my law did my stripe did my stripe doing good. Proud of it. Now to go to work. Because <laughs> it's not actually the weekend yet. <sighs> Soon.
it's Friday afternoon. It's May 10th. And school is out for the weekend. Ah! I'm so excited. Ridiculously excited. So I don't have anything that I like. I don't have plans until tomorrow night, which means this evening, all I have to do is tackle my to-do list. So I know it was just a a few seconds, maybe a couple minutes ago that you saw my to-do list, but it's been many hours since I saw my to-do list. So let's take a look at what I've got going on. So if you've been here, you know, I love a physical to-do list. (laughs) Some of the things on here include reading Bridgerton. Um, I also want to work on my, this is the Hexapuff blanket. This is the Barn Racing Square blanket. This is the Garter Stitch blanket. They do not live next to my chair, but they're there right now. So they're easy to grab because I plan to mostly camp out in this chair this evening and maybe bleach my hair. I also have my nephew's hat right there. And my oldest kiddo's knee high or not knee highs, thigh highs are in there because those are things that I want to work on. But very exciting. Um, okay, so I got this mini skin pack. A fingering weight stroll. And it's this really pretty uh kind of a gradient, like not 100 percent a gradient, but kind of. And I really want to put it in this bias strip, but not all this weekend. But I want to put it in order. So I'm probably going to start with this darkest green and put it in there and work in a couple of those because I wanted to do lots of minis into blankets. Okay. That's my roommate. Um, but I also, I really wanted, I've been, I've been wanting to work this yarn into blankets for a while now. Like it's been taking up so much real estate in my brain for no reason. So today I'm going to, well, not today, this weekend, I'm going to work it into the blanket, but I don't like it right next to that stripe right here. Um, this is a self-striping yarn from, I think it's from, um, is it from 716? No, it's not from 716. It's from, I can't remember. I don't know. If I remember, I'll put it down below, but it's a really pretty color. But I don't like it next to the rainbow, so I'm going to work in this. And it's going to be a gray and then a black, and then I'll work in this mini. And then I think I'm going to put in this mini. Because I, excuse me, because I was just pulling out things to go in next into the self-striping, and I saw this one. But then I saw this one, and I was like, ooh, that's literally just one stripe repeat. That's perfect. It could absolutely go in this blanket this weekend. So... I'm not necessarily going to use up all three of these minis this weekend, definitely this one, but I'm definitely putting these sections onto this self-striping section of my blanket. And look at this. How cute is this? This is so cute. One of my coworkers got this for me for Mother's Day because she was like, I know the kids have their dad or whatever, but like you're still a single mom and sometimes single moms get forgotten and I wanted to make sure you weren't forgotten. How nice is that? (sighs) So I want to plant this at some point. Sometime this weekend, I want to show you my apple tree because I just came across a picture of when we first planted it versus now. Oh my gosh. I'll see if I can get my kiddo to take a picture because my kiddo is in the original picture, and I just think it would be fun for you to see how they've both grown in five years, I think it said it was. Um, And we'll check it on my other plant. Maybe this weekend, maybe today. I don't know. But first, some reading and knitting. I will see you guys later. Okay, well, there will be no bleaching of hair tonight, because it looks like the last time we did my daughter's hair, we used the bleach kits both of them. So I thought there was a little bit left. So I'll have to get some bleach to dye my hair and I want to do that tomorrow because I definitely want green hair for the concert. So in the morning when I wake up I will run and get bleach so that I can immediately bleach out my hair so then I can have time to rest in between 
bleach and coloring. So it's got to be really early if I want any rest time. Um, so yeah. Instead, I'm doing a face mask because my skin is being irritated by the fluctuation in weather. So I feel pretty. Look at my TBR. It's so cute. So cute. Mm, all those books. It's exciting. You hear the, the, I don't know what they have over there, a dirt bike, a four-wheeler, whatever. They get something different every summer. And it's all loud and annoying. It's probably a bike. Sounds like a bike. <laughs>